Hi, this is Tim. I wanted to share an answer that a viewer had to one of my questions in my last live stream. In our sequencer control live stream, I was trying to change some output energizers to output latches, and Kevin Ziegler said, during the latch and latch segment, you tried to change a direct call to a set latch call. I don't know if you found an answer yet, but if you select the call and go to properties, you can change it by clicking the down arrow on the modifier. So I've created a program in Connected Components Workbench, and really this is a basic situation we're talking about, is I wanted to change this output energize to an output latch. And really with any other, I mean, I swear it's any instruction, you can bring it down and then you can double click on it and you can change it to any other instruction you want, which is a really nice feature. If you double click on an examine if closed, then it brings up the variable selector. And same thing with output energize, it just brings up the variable selector. But Kevin says that I just need to right click it and select properties and then the modifier here. And he is absolutely right. I can click the modifier here and I can change it to a set call, which is the latch instruction that I was looking for. Or I can change it to a reset call, which is the unlatch. And I would assume the same right over here. Right now we have a direct contact or examine if closed, and we can change it to a reverse contact. And man, that I just can't believe I couldn't figure that out. Kevin, I super appreciate you sharing that with me, and I hope that helps a lot of you out. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.